What's up guys? Today I bring you episode 85 of the Coolest Tech of the Month, October 2023. Where I'll be checking out a whole bunch of hand-picked innovative cool tech products and gadgets featuring an impressive pair of gaming earbuds. We have a spy pen, we have a mini AI box for your car, we've got some rugged smartphones, we've got a few interesting audio tech gadgets, a unique mini PC with a built-in screen, we've got some gaming accessories, a compact dishwasher and lots lots more. So get comfortable as this is quite an epic episode and as usual everything you're about to see will be linked in the description with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product product that interests you. So without any further ado, let's begin with the first cool product. Okay, so first up we have Red Magic's brand new True Wireless Stereo Earbuds. These are gaming earbuds and they're called the Cyberbuds DAO. Now here's one of the most interesting features for these earbuds. It comes with a USB dongle. Yes, they are Bluetooth earbuds, but if you want to use them without Bluetooth, you can plug these into a game console, you can plug them into a VR headset, and you can use these wireless without Bluetooth. So that is very useful, especially in the VR world. They are gaming earbuds, and in gaming mode, you can achieve 28 milliseconds of response time, so ultra low latency. Now, if I take this off first, this is like a docking station slash charger. On the back, you can see you've got a Type-C port, and you've got a port for your dongle. When you're finished with the earbuds, you just drop the case down and the earbuds will start charging. Red Magic has gone all out with this design. Gaming earbuds, they look absolutely amazing. You've got a button on the front and when you press it, it'll give you an indication of power. You've got a Type-C charging port, so you can directly charge these earbuds via Type-C. Um, and at the bottom, you do have a coil there, wireless charging. You can see transparent design. Let's have a closer look at the earbuds. Wow, check it out guys, the earbuds are also transparent. The part that goes in your ear is not, but the stem is completely transparent. That is cool. So these do feature the latest Qualcomm S5 chipset. They are Bluetooth 5.3. They support AI active noise reduction. You've got 11 millimeter graphene drivers. They support high-res audio, wireless, and DTS-X. As I mentioned, you've got wireless charging for the case, and they do support touch control. And there is a smartphone app for both iOS and Android. It's called the GoPer Go app, and that app will give you some extra settings to play with, including custom presets, etc. Now, oh, I want to test out the wireless USB-C method. So we're going to test the ROG Alley first. Wow, sound quality is amazing. So USB-C dongle on my left side. Plug it in. Oh, wow. They work. I'm so happy. This is amazing. For me, these are impressive true wireless stereo earbuds for gaming. And this is going to work really well with my favorite gadgets. All right, let's see what's next. So next up, we have a product for you 007 fans out there. This is the iSpy Pen Pro X, the new improved 2023 model of the spy pen. Um, we have user manuals, quick start guides. So over here we've got a pen case, charger, and some ink refills. Over here we've got this small power bank, so you can actually charge the pen on the go. We've got a micro USB to USB-A cable, and we've got a micro SD card reader with multiple connections there. Uh, more ink refills of different colors on that side. And this is the product itself. Another case, very neatly presented. Here is the pen. If we just unscrew it, I want to show you. And you've got a USB drive, so you can plug this straight into any device to transfer the video recordings. So this is a legit pen, just twist to use it like a normal pen. And over here you can see. Now on the top, you've got a button, and when you keep it pressed, you'll see a blue light flash twice, and then it will turn off. Um, so you are basically now recording. This features up to 2K resolution video recording, but to be honest with you, it doesn't look like real 2K resolution. It looks like 720p upscaled to 2K possibly. There, you can see the sensor. It's right between the clips. So when you wear this on your shirt, this part will be sticking out and you'll be secretly recording. There is an indicator light on the back. So when you initiate recording, you keep that press for two seconds, let go. The blue light flashes twice and now we are officially recording. So when you finish recording, you just press the button twice. The blue light will stay steady. So the steady blue light means your video recording has stopped. 
So don't worry about the light. When you're wearing this, when you're wearing this in your shirt, the light is behind. So no one's going to see the light when you're wearing this. That was the I Spy Pen Pro X 2023 model, people. So really excited about the next product. This is the mini wireless AI box. So this little box here is basically a small Android TV box for your car. So it will enhance your car entertainment. This device is designed for cars that have original wired CarPlay for Apple and Android Auto. It will basically turn your car into an open Android system based on Android 11. It will give you all the apps that you need, including Netflix, YouTube, Google Play Store. This AI box is very light and thin in size. It's just got a Type-C port on the back and a micro SD card for storage. This is powered by an eight core Qualcomm chipset. You've got two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage. How it works is you simply plug this in to the existing USB port of your car. So you can see we've got a full Android system here and it is a touch screen. We've got Netflix, we've got VLC player, we've got the Play Store, YouTube, and you even got the APK Pure. So plugging this box in has basically given us a full Android open system. This is my original stereo. I've not uh, tweaked it, done anything else. Today, I've got my hands on the brand new MetaQuest 3. That's amazing, guys. So I'm watching YouTube videos with my car speakers, so full volume. So every shortcut on your steering wheel, skip tracks, everything still works fine. Quickly show you the Play Store. And there you can see, we've got the full Play Store. You could install Call of Duty. You could install GTA San Andreas. You could connect a Bluetooth controller and play games on this. Guys, things just got really interesting. I can't believe um, what this little thing is capable of doing. There is also an SD card slot, so you can install uh, your own APKs. You could install and play your own movies, your own videos. If you want to access the Android menu, you just have to tap CarPlay at the bottom left-hand corner. As soon as you tap that, you'll be into the full Android system. If you want to go back to your car menus, just tap on car and it will take you right back. So that's how you interchange between the full Android and your original car, car um, menus. So yeah, really easy to navigate. So yeah, awesome product. This is the AI box. Transform your car stereo into full Android. Definitely check this one out, guys. Okay, so next up, we're looking at a brand new rugged smartphone by Doogie. This is the V31 GT. This is the V31 GT super rugged smartphone. Military standard 810G durability. We've got IP68, IP69K. This phone has a 6.58 inch full HD plus 120 hertz display. It's got Gorilla Glass protection, not sure which version. It's powered by a MediaTek processor, that's the Dimensity 1080. It's an octa-core, clocked at 2.6 gigahertz. You've got 12 gigs of RAM, and this can be expanded with 8 gigs of virtual RAM, giving you a total of 20 gigs of RAM. For internal storage, we have 256 gigabyte UFS 2.2 storage. There are triple cameras on the back. 50 megapixel primary, 24 megapixel night vision, and you've got an eight megapixel fusion and thermal imaging camera. And on the front, you can see there, in the center, you can see a 32 megapixel selfie camera. Um, quickly have a look at display settings. I just wanna quickly show you. This doesn't have automatic refresh rate. So it's either 60, 90, or 120 all the time. It's quite a thick phone, 17.9 millimeters thick, and it weighs 390 grams. There is a massive 10,800 milliamp hour battery built in and you get a 66 watt fast charger included in the box. There is a fingerprint sensor built into the power button on the side. You've got a, a textured volume button just above it. On top, there is nothing. On this side, you've got your SIM card tray and a custom button that you can customize to open any app you like. Quickly show you the SIM card tray. You have a dual 5G nano SIM tray or you can have one micro SD card and one nano SIM card. There is a custom button here, which you can use to open any app you like. And at the bottom, you have a latch, which is watertight latch, and that's your charger port right behind. Just want to quickly show you the camera. So you've got beauty mode, night vision camera, so you can see the night vision LEDs have illuminated. So if you're in a dark place, dark room, you'll be able to see everything with this camera. Then you've got your regular video mode, and I just want to show you. Maximum video quality supported is 4K. Picture mode high res photo mode, super night mode, and then you've got more under which you will find even more options, pro mode, slow motion, portrait, bokeh, and so on and so forth. So Doogie's latest rugged smartphone, the V31 GT. This is the Project X 
retro console. So this is a retro handheld. From the box and online, it gave the impression of a PS5 controller style design. This is in fact reality, what you actually get. 4.3 inch IPS display, screen resolution 800 by 400. You've got eight gigs of internal storage. There is, there is an empty micro SD card slot in case you want to expand. You've got a mini HDMI, micro USB port and a type C port. You've got volume rocker and a power button. And at the bottom, there's nothing. You can see the controls, X, Y, B, A, D-pad, which doesn't feel very good at all. You've got dual joysticks, they are clickable, and you've got select and start button. The UI basically gives you names of consoles. So you've got CPS, FC, SFC, GBA, PS1, GB, and MD. They are basically all the systems you can play. There are some preset, pre-selected games that you can just start playing straight away. And right at the bottom, you have a menu for movie, music, photo, ebook, calculator, stopwatch, themes, settings, and browser. Just go to video, just want to show you what that can do. It's got three video samples in there, and there you go. So let's go ahead and load up a PlayStation 1 game. There's only Tekken 3 there, so let's load it up and see how it plays. The speakers are quite loud. Oh gosh. <laughs> the controls are terrible. So as you can see, it's a it's a bloody struggle to pull off your moves. That's you know, it's not happening. <laughs> as you can see, terrible D-pad and equally terrible joystick. So that was the new Project X, guys. In case you guys were looking to pick this one up, I guess I saved you the hassle. Okay, so the next product is called the All Powers R600 Power Station. So a very interesting portable power station, um, built in LED light. You've got a 299 watt hour capacity. It can give up to 600 watts of constant power. To give you an idea of what sort of power you can achieve from this, you could plug in a 100 watt TV for up to 2.5 hours or enough power to power a 30 watt light bulb for eight hours or even a 50 watt fan for five hours. Now you can see we've got multiple connections here. On this side, we've got two AC ports. On top, we've got two DC ports. Over here, you can see a car output as well. Um, there is a power button. I'll just turn the power button on just to show you the display. So the display shows you exactly how much battery is left in this thing. Over here, we've got 200 watt USB-C ports and you've got a USB-A 18 watt port as well. Each of these ports have their own power button. So if you want to activate the AC ports, you just press the button once, it activates it. So we're going to test out the Type-C port. It does up to 100 watts, but it's got intelligent power delivery. So if you plug in something that's not 100 watts, for example, if you plug in a phone, your phone is not going to blow up, thankfully. It will automatically detect what voltage is required and send it accordingly. So we are testing this out right now. 61% quick charge is, is going on. It tells you there how much output is being provided. I believe this phone, which is the Poco F4 GT, does support up to 60 watts fast charging. So you can see right now we are charging at 53 watt output. Okay, so what about MacBook Pro? Plug it in and see what happens. So you can see 45 watts, 50 watts. So we are charging our MacBook Pro more or less full speed, guys. Another cool feature, on the top you have a wireless charger. So if we just place an iPhone 14 Pro on there, you can see it's immediately charging. This can also be used as an, a UPS power, so uninterrupted power supply. You can hook up all your controls and you plug this into the mains. In case of a power outage, the internal battery of this unit kicks in. This can work as a generator for UPS energy. Really, really nice. So here we have the Edifier Neo Buds Pro 2. Okay, so here it is guys, the charging case for the Neo Buds Pro 2. On the back we've got a Type-C charging port. Open them up and it will present you with the earbuds and you've got a power LED indicator. If we take the earbuds out, give you guys a closer look. So you can see we have an interesting design with the Edifier emblem on the actual earpiece. 
You've got 10 millimeter dynamic drivers. These do support Bluetooth 5.3. You've got an LDAC and an LHDC. They support hybrid ANC and high res audio wireless. You've got eight microphones, guys. That's four microphones in each earbud. Also, each earbud will give you seven hours of battery life with the ANC on. And if you switch the ANC off, that's nine hours of battery life per earbud. With the charging case, that's an additional 22 hours. This does support fast charging, so 15 minute charge equals two hours of non-stop music. They do feature 360 degree spatial audio with head tracking. They do feature in-ear detection. You've got IP54 dust and splash proof. And in gaming mode, you can achieve around 80 milliseconds of latency. And there is a smartphone app, so you can play around with presets. And the app is called Edifier Connect. So the earbuds do fit really nicely in the ear. It's a nice fit. And I did get a chance to test the ANC out earlier and it's uh, pretty good. It does a very good job and blocking out all the surrounding noise. And you have different modes that you can play with in ANC. So you can switch it on and off too. Now I usually rate the overall sound quality and bass. But to rate the bass levels out of five, I would give it a four out of five. So pretty decent bass. And if I rate the overall sound quality, I'm giving these a four out of five for overall sound. So really nice earbuds. These are the Edifier Neobuds Pro 2. This is the Joby BMO Ring of Light for MagSafe devices. So this basically attaches to the back of your iPhone. So this will give you a ring of light for your phone for both the rear and front cameras. So if we're using the front camera, let me switch on the light first. So one, two, three, four, and off you can have that light facing the rear camera. So the light itself has a Type-C charging port on the side. It will work for four hours. It's got a four hour battery life. There is also a built-in mirror on the front so you can make sure you look the part before you start filming. And it's not just limited to iPhones. Um, any other smartphone that supports magnetic charging, like the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, for example, this will work on that too. So that is the Joby BMO Ring Light for MagSafe. So next product we have is the Gold One Pro mini PC. Check it out guys. This is one of the most incredible mini PCs I have ever tested on the channel. Inside the box you do get a Type-C power adapter. So think of this as a handheld mini computer, which you can connect to the big screen. You've got dual HDMI output and it supports 4K output. You've got two USB 3 ports. You've got a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. That's your Type-C port for power. On this side, you've got two more USB 3 ports, a headphone slash microphone combo jack, and you even have a micro SD card to expand the storage. So Windows 11 Professional pre-installed, ready to use. That is a 5.5 inch touchscreen display. This is powered by an Intel Celeron J4125, which is a quad core processor clocked at two gigahertz or 2.7 gigahertz turbo. For graphics, we have Intel Ultra HD 600. You've got eight gigs of LPDDR4 RAM. Um, there is also micro SD expansion in case you wanted to further expand that storage. This also has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port. You've got Windows 11 Professional. This supports dual 4K display output. And there is a built-in speaker as well and a built-in 2,500 milliamp hour battery. So a full PC experience in your hand, compact size. Don't expect a massive power and performance from that Celeron chip. It'd be good enough to run something like GTA 5 on the lowest graphics, but otherwise you've actually only got 128 gigs of internal storage. So not enough space to even install GTA, but you could install it directly on a micro SD card. For general web browsing, watching videos on YouTube, getting some work done, this works really well. You can attach a keyboard and mouse on the USB 3 ports. You can connect this to a monitor, connect a keyboard and mouse, and you've got yourself a full PC experience. So that was just a very quick first look at the Gold One Pro mini PC. Next product is the Easy SMX M10 mobile telescopic gaming controller. If you follow the channel, you already know that I'm a big fan of these type of telescopic controllers. This one, if you look at it, looks nearly identical to the Razer Kishi 2. It looks very similar in design. Even the grips feel very similar. And, and you've got those extra square buttons on in between the triggers. This one here has a lightning connection and the port is flexible, so it does move up and down a bit. Okay, so this is my iPhone 14 Pro. I'm gonna connect it to this gadget. Okay, and you see we've got a steady blue light. That means we're ready to play. Now this is great for game streaming, including Microsoft Game Pass, Luna, Nvidia's GeForce Now, 
uh, and so on and so forth. You can also play Apple MFI certified iOS games. So most games that you find on Apple Arcade will work with this controller. It does feature three speed turbo. You've got your XYBA buttons, you've got plus and minus. You've actually got Hall Effect joysticks, which means no worries about stick drift in the future. And you've got Hall Effect triggers for that precision accuracy. So it's a great quality controller. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for games like PUBG or COD Mobile. It's much cheaper than the competition, but it doesn't have those advanced features that you get with the Backbone and the Razer Kishi. You don't have that software. You don't have any mapping software. Call of Duty doesn't work. PUBG doesn't work. You're a bit limited to what games work. But it does work for game streaming. So if you predominantly want to use game streaming on your phone, then this is pretty good. And it extends quite far, so easily accommodates the Pro Max series as well. Easy SMX, M10 people. Okay, so next up we have GameSir's latest premium game controller. This is the T4 Cyclone Pro. So new multi-platform game controller. This supports PC, Nintendo Switch, Steam Deck, Android and iOS. Now this is a three-in-one. It functions via Bluetooth or via the included USB dongle that you find in the box, or you can just connect the cable and use it as a wired controller. You have Hall Effect joysticks, so no dead zones or stick drift, and they feel great. You have Hall Effect triggers for that quick precision accuracy, and the triggers feel really nice. You've got XYBA buttons, quite nice, nice sized as well. Joystick, D-pad, everything feels really good. You've got the home button, the game sir home button, which I've just turned on. On the back, you've got two macro buttons that you can customize. So you've got vibration motors on the grips as expected for most quality controllers. But this one has gone one step further. You have dual vibration motors in the triggers as well. And the trigger vibration feature only works when you're connected via Bluetooth. This also supports gyro motion for your Switch games. There is a built-in 860 milliamp hour battery, which will give you up to 25 hours of non-stop gaming. And for the features and specs of game, I think this is a pretty unbeatable controller. Okay, so I've just connected via Bluetooth to my gaming PC. So you can see the controller is working great. WW2K22. And it's gone. Really nice controller. I'm loving this. So here we have the Fossey Bot F101 rugged smartphone. So this is a more compact rugged smartphone. It is military standard 810H durability. It's IP68 and IP69K water resistant. It's 20 millimeters thick and it weighs 350 grams. So this phone is this phone has a really nice interesting design. You got a 5.4 inch IPS HD plus display on the front. On this back, you've got a small round display it shows you the battery, date, time. You've got a compass, you've got a camera, you can access the camera. You can now take selfies with the rear camera, giving you a much better selfie quality. If we go back, other apps you have is timers, you've got a sound recorder, you can play your music from here. So really interesting feature there. It's a lot smaller than the regular rugged smartphones you get. It's a lot more compact. This phone is powered by the MediaTek Helio A22. Now there is a super loud speaker built in. You've got four gigs of RAM, expandable with three gigs of virtual RAM, giving you seven gigs in total. You've got 64 gigs of internal storage. This is running Android 12 and it does feel pretty nippy in operation. Cameras, we have 24 megapixel primary, 5 megapixel macro, and a 0.3 megapixel telephoto, and an 8 megapixel camera on the front. This phone has a massive 10,600 milliamp hour battery. It supports 18 watt fast charging, and it takes and it takes around three hours to fully charge the phone. The design is rather nice. It's made from black rubberized plastic. It's very rugged and strong, and you've got this red trim in certain areas of the phone. Black and red certainly looks nice. So we've got power button, volume rocker, nothing on top. On the side, we have our SIM card tray. So we have a dual SIM card tray, or it can even take one micro SD card and one SIM card at the same time. So watertight latch all the way around. You've got a custom button that you can customize from within settings. There is another watertight latch at the bottom, which is your charger port, Type-C charging. So pretty awesome design, very interesting phone. Fossibot, definitely check this one out, guys. So next up, we have the Yultenic 
FS1 cordless vacuum cleaner. Now this is the first self-emptying handheld vacuum that I've ever tested. It comes with a whole bunch of accessories including a telescopic pole, combination tool, a brush head and a main vacuum roller head. It's very easy to put together, simply clips in place. You have a 2500 milliamp hour removable battery which will give you 60 minutes of cleaning time which I think is more than sufficient for most people. The self-emptying bin has a compartment in the middle for your 3 litre capacity dust bag and you do get a few spare dust bags in the box. The vacuum has some charger pins located between the bin so when you place the vacuum on the stand it will hold the vacuum and also charge it at the same time. You can also pick up a spare battery and there is a slot on the back which lets you charge the spare battery all at the same time. The vacuum features touch control and is quite powerful at 450 watts with a suction power of 30,000 PA. You have four speed modes which are low, high, auto and turbo. Auto can detect the type of floor you're cleaning and adjust the power accordingly and for me personally I really like the turbo mode. It picks up everything including pet hairs. Now when you dock the vacuum you long press the button at the top and the main dustbin will suck all the dust from the small vacuum compartment self emptying the dust for you and the actual small vacuum bin capacity is 660 ml and the main bin capacity is 3 litre. Now this is quite an advanced vacuum featuring a 5 layer HEPA filter system. This product is very easy to use and I find it very convenient. It's a real space saver compared to a full size vacuum cleaner or compared to a self emptying robot vacuum cleaner. So you can just leave this thing in the side of your room, in the corner, um, out the way and it takes minimal space. So next up we're looking at the Lock Capsule 3-in-1 Mini Dishwasher. So this is one of the smallest and fastest countertop dishwashers that you can currently buy. It comes with an accessory box, pipes, cutlery tray and lots more. The main tray slides out with ease and it is on wheels and can be completely removed for internal cleaning. You have a stainless steel interior with multiple spinning jets and of course a drain so the water can drain out. Now as standard you get a single water tank with this but you can also pick up another one if you wanted a separate waste tank too. To get started just connect the water pipe to the back of the unit and the other end to the water tank and then go ahead and connect the larger waste pipe and you can leave it dangling in the sink or connect it directly to an optional waste tank. Then you simply connect the power cable, load up your dirty dishes and I actually managed to fit three dinner plates, three bowls and some cutlery and a few drinking glasses. Then fill up the water tank with cold water and select a preset. So you've got a few presets that you can choose from, 15 minutes to wash straight after a meal, then you have options for 30, 45, 1 hour 30, 2 hours 32 minutes and you can see the explanations next to each one. Um, best part about it is you don't need to use any cartridges, um, no special cartridges required, you can use any detergent or tablet. Um, I've set it on 30 minutes wash, it will warm the water itself and wash the dishes accordingly. It's a complete standalone dishwasher, it takes the fresh water by itself from the tank as required and then drains the wastewater straight into the sink when the job is complete. How convenient is that guys? The Lock Capsule 3-in-1 Mini Dishwasher. Awesome stuff. So there you have it guys, that concludes episode 85. And if you got this far then please hit the like button and let me know which products were your favourites from the bunch. I'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. Now all the links are provided for you in the description box, like, sub and follow if you have not already. That's all for this video, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.